Hello and welcome to the firing room of Launch Complex 26. My name is Jim Hale. I am a volunteer here with the Air Force Base and Missile Museum and also with the 45th Space Wing Public Affairs Office. This is the firing room and you might wonder what does the firing room do? Well, the firing room is the place where all the consoles and the operators stand when they're launching a rocket from a launch pad. And in the case of Launch Complex 26, the launch pad, the launch pad happens to be about 400 feet away from where we're standing right now. We're inside of a very substantial building called the Block House, surrounded by concrete two feet thick. Overhead, it is eight feet thick concrete and that is to protect us because if we're having a rocket on the launch pad 400 feet away fully fueled think of it as 40 tons of high explosive if something were to go wrong we want to be protected in here this is an above ground bunker now as far as the firing room goes that is an old term it's a military term uh, this complex was built for the army so firing room kind of falls into army term terminology uh, it's the same as firing a cannon, firing a howitzer, firing a rifle, you fire a missile. So the name firing room. But in today's world, we would call this a launch control center, not a firing room. And another thing inside this room that is a uh, reference to the military are the clocks that we have on the wall. One of our clocks says Zulu time. And if you're not familiar with Zulu time in military terms, that is Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time Coordinated, however you might refer to it. It's the zero meridian on the Earth where we refer to all clocks are set to that during a launch. 400 feet away, standing on the launch pad, is something we call a gantry. And again, that is an old term. Uh, in days of 1956 when this launch complex was built a platform that was used to service the launch uh, service the uh, the missile was called a gantry nowadays we might call that a mobile service tower but it served the purpose uh, instead of moving scaffolding around we have a, a fixed tower that can be uh, put up with platforms and you can work on different levels of the the rocket while it's standing on the launch pad. The uh, gantry that we have here at the museum is quite a relic. It was used to service uh, the very first satellite that the United States put into orbit. That was called Explorer 1, January 31st, 1958. 